So there's a couple of things or more things we're going to do in this episode. Um, in preparation for it, you're going to have to print um, these babies over here. I just call them muscle. You'll soon you'll soon discover why that is. Um, and then you'll print one of these babies, and we'll see how it all connects together just now. Uh, maybe a, a bunch of these round standoffs. Uh, and, 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 and perhaps this bottom piece over here. So how this should work is, um, let me just get my good old pliers so I can grab this thing next to the, to the camera. So if you look at this guy over here, what's the best position? Uh, let's try that. No, this is a little bit better. I think it's a little bit better like that. No. Okay, in any case, these are your your nails that you can actually pick up um, you know, quite a low price. Um, and what you do is this hole is designed to be slightly smaller, um, but these basically you can fit over here and basically um, you can melt it in using your soldering tip so that you end up with um, this thing tightly fitted over here and with one of these and the three millimeter threaded kind of screw it will then plug in here and drive this piece up and down but let's fit it in so you can see the whole picture first so armed with um, you know a bunch more of these sort of 25 millimeter babies you can um, um, attach these what I just call muscles I think it's better if you have a system for attaching these you first uh, push in this screw but before or this um, this bolt but before before it comes up here then Assuming that you're building all four arms, then you can start pushing this one, right? Um, you know, again, don't push all the way because it allows you to then do the next one and the next one. And once all of them are here, then you start basically pushing them in like so, right? Easy, easy system. So for now, we're just going to do the two. So we've got this one in here and... I suppose let's just see if this one oh, there we go it does actually go let's try it again and hopefully without too much convincing there we go it's all through and obviously you go on ahead and you apply your um, you make sure that it's not too tight with your nuts Seems to be giving me trouble this one, maybe if... Oh, there we go. Okay. And just apply a little bit of glue to make sure that it holds whatever position you've decided uh, is the most efficient. It mustn't be too tight, it mustn't be too loose either. So you just need to calibrate that uh, sort of sweet spot. And then once you've got it, make sure you've got it fixed up using using your favorite super glue or whatever the case might be there we go so you've got your muscles now think of it this way you're gonna have this little powerful motto come through from the bottom end and actually pushing this up and down and by pushing it up and down these muscles will then push your robot close or open so let's connect it up and see how it, uh, how it looks so armed with your um, 25, I think these are 24, 25 millimeters, uh, you basically push these through um, and you can put your nuts on the other side. Uh, well, actually, that's maybe just for consistency, change this and reverse it so that the nut goes this side there we go 
and you basically do the same for this one. So this part's done. So now you can see the two sort of muscle points. So the motor basically pushes this up and down. Um, and remember this um, little gizmo that will attach to the motor, three millimeter sort of screw. Um, and hopefully in a more straight line than, than I'm actually pushing it. Okay, so that's that part done. Now for the next piece, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need about four of these. These are about, uh, let's just quickly see, push it up so I can measure it. There we go. These are about um, 30, they're about. Um, you're gonna need four of these. You notice how these things are designed. Um, they have a little hole here where, uh, you know, the screw goes sort of inside that hole. Um, and the same applies to your um, your nuts, basically. Uh, and remember this motor piece goes in here. I'm not gonna put it in for now because you can just, just as well push it in from the underside if you're really, really desperate. So let's just put it aside. For now, we just wanna see how this fits together. And again, this piece is not a square, it's a rectangle. So whatever the direction this one takes, make sure that they all very well align. So let's do that quickly. So here's a complete picture. Just a small correction. These um, screws over here, these nuts and bolts, um, the bolts need to about, they need to be about 35 and not 30 as previously alluded um, otherwise this is how it looks in terms of the complete picture thanks for watching